Greetings and salutations YouTubers, ZillaFan85 here, and I've got another figure review for you today, and this one is one that I'm definitely delighted to do. Uh, this is, of course, the 1989 Godzilla, uh, obviously featured in the movie Godzilla vs. Biolanti. Um, you know, and this design, which is known as the Bio Goji design, uh, it was essentially used for this film for Godzilla vs. Biolanti in 1989, and then also uh, essentially reused again in the 1991 film Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Uh, both movies I love. Um, uh, the, the second one, the 91 Godzilla, is technically known as the Guido Goji, uh, and the suit is a little bit, a little bit more muscular looking, uh, than this design, um, and that's mainly so because in the 91 film, uh, that was when it followed through, you know, with the whole God, Godzilla being, uh, um, you know, not only made by modern uh, nuclear weapons this time that he was, uh, you know, irradiated and, and mutated from, uh, but also that uh, that nuclear submarine that, that was actually searching for him underwater, and he found it and destroyed it and absorbed the energy from that sub, and it made him grow in size and obviously become a little bit bulkier and what have you, too. So, um, but the 89 slash 91 design is, is essentially the same, you know, so it's just kind of what you look at as the Bio Goji slash Guido Goji. Uh, nonetheless, though, that is my all-time favorite uh, Godzilla design. If I had to pick one in, in, in absolute particular, it probably would be the 91 Godzilla, just because of some of that ex, uh, extra mus muscular feature that he had in the film, uh, you know, looked, looked really, really amazing. At least I always felt so anyways. I know some people weren't thrilled about it, but, you know, other, others loved it, and obviously I, I've always loved that design, um, you know, but this, this 89 slash 91 Godzilla, that is my all-time favorite Godzilla design, um, so I was really, really happy to be able to get this figure, this, of course, is a, uh, a Gashapon figure, I got it, uh, last year at, uh, at the Spooky Empire Horror Convention. Um, it was definitely a good find. I found it in the capsule and everything, and I just, you know, it was a pretty decent price. Um, you know, these, like I said, most of these Gashapon figures are not that expensive, so other than the ones that are a little bit more <laughs> rare, those ones can run up in price, but um, this one, not too uncommon. Um, you know, so I jumped, I jumped right on it, uh, and, and got it, and, you know, like I said, got it with the capsule and everything, uh, and I was really, really excited to have this. Again, the 89 slash 91 Godzilla is my all-time favorite Godzilla design, um, you know, and like, as I've, you know, and obviously I've stated that numerous times, including in my, you know, video of the, uh, of my top five favorite Godzilla designs, obviously talking about this one as number one, um, you know, and, and just mention too that, uh, uh, that when I think of Godzilla, bang, this is, this is what I think of, uh, you know, for the most part. It would either be this one or, you know, uh, you know, what you would think of wise, uh, maybe the original, the Shodai Goji, the original Godzilla design from 1954. Um, but this is the one that I think of more than any, though, for sure. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I love everything about this Godzilla design. Uh, let's go ahead, though, and take a look at the figure itself. I think that this figure is actually very well done. And as far as the Godzilla uh, you know, the versions of Godzilla that I have, you know, as far as figures go. Um, this is easily, honestly, my second favorite <laughs> of my Godzilla figures, believe it or not. Um, you know, my favorite would probably be my NECA uh, 1954 Godzilla, which I will probably review uh, at some point down the road. Um, you know, but again, though, I really love my Gashapon figures, so definitely excited to be able to review this. So you can see a little bit closer up. I try not to get in too close because I, you know, noticed uh, my camera tends to lose focus. But just so you can kind of, again, see all around him. Um, 
I think as is the case with a, with many of the, not all of them, but many of these Gashapon figures, uh, it's it's very well detailed. You see, um, obviously, of course, uh, with articulation, again, for the most part with these Gashapon figures, you're not really going to get much in the way of articulation. Um, you know, again, these parts are really just meant to be put into place. Uh, and then, you know, displayed as is. So, um, I mean, you know, they say you really can't play with them. I, you know, you could play with them a little bit. Um, you know, I, I always think so. Anyway, just be mindful if anything comes off that you have to put it back in, you know, unless you glue them. But uh, I, I try not to uh, glue mine. So, but nonetheless, though, uh, other than articulation, you can see the paint job. You got the charcoalish paint is Godzilla's signature of all around his body um you know very nicely done uh, on the um, you know the spikes the dorsal spines you see that you've got this sort of you know again with this charcoalish color on the um, thick part of the spines and then towards where the where they um, crest out in the points you've got this sort of grayish paint all around uh, which was which was pretty indicative of, of what they looked like in the film and obviously is um, often as you pretty much is the case with the Heisei Godzilla that the um, uh, even though the middle uh, the middle spines are still the biggest even the outer spines uh, protrude pretty nicely too um, always one of the things that I liked a lot about the Heisei Godzilla you know the dorsal spines were awesome um, some people really like the Millennium Godzilla dorsal spine especially because of how pointy they are to me they're too they're just a little too big that's why I'm you know one of the reasons I'm not crazy about uh, that Millennium look you know, just as a personal preference, but I love the Heisei um, looks for sure, and obviously this one, the cream of the crop for me. Um, so uh, not too much else uh, as far as paint goes. You got this sort of yellowish paint uh, here for the uh, for the toenails and the uh, the claws, of course. Uh, so you can kind of see those, um, and then of course you got the. Um, Basically, same same sort of color for the teeth as well. You can, if you look closely, you can sort of see those two dragon teeth there. So they did a nice job uh, painting them there. And of course, you got the uh, uh, the subtle color for the eyes. Um, you know, which you don't see. You know, his eyes are pretty. Uh, you know, pretty much like this in the film as well. You don't always, um, you know, because the, the brows kind of cover a lot, you know, gives them that really mean, mean, uh, intimidating look, which is one thing I, I really, really love with this Godzilla design. So you can kind of see that there. Um, but you can sort of see this uh, sort of almost orangish color, though, in the eyes, which, again, is, is pretty indicative of what, what he looked like in the film. Um and then otherwise for detail, again, obviously, uh, again, they, they did a pretty nice job, uh, you know, showcasing the teeth. I mean, not overly detailed, but enough. And at least, like I said, you can kind of see those two dragon teeth there. Uh, they got the scales, obviously, all over his body. Um, you know, as is usually the case with these Gashapon figures, they, they, they nail that pretty much. Um, you've got the look you know, which he had in the film, like I said, I think they really did a good job capturing that look, and, um, you know, so you've got the detailing in the face, as you can see here, and everything, uh, again, the detailing on the spines, and you can see how they, uh, they kind of narrow down into this, into where they go towards the end of the body, and into the tail, of course, here, um, so, uh, so again, a very nice job. I think that's about it for the, um, for the detail. Again, not too much to go over, uh, for the, uh, for the Gashapon figures, of course. Um, but just overall, just, uh, just a really awesome figure. I, I personally think so. Anyways, uh, you know, um, uh, like I said, though, I really love these, these Gashapon figures, and that's why I tend to review a lot of them, and, uh, I'm um, definitely going to be reviewing more of my Gashapon figures as well. Um, I do have the Gashapon Biolanti, obviously, which does go with, with this, but uh, I'm not going to bring that out right now because for scaling-wise, it, it doesn't really scale in well, and I watched another review of that 
Biolanti in particular, that Gashapon Biolanti and the um, reviewer had even said himself that uh, that they don't really um, scale in well together. So it's a bit of a disappointment. Um, you know, because that Biolanti, for whatever reason, is a bit on the small side. So, uh, but nonetheless, that's still a nice figure, though, and I'm probably still going to review it on its own, um, you know, at a later date, of course. Um, but right now, really wanted to, uh, to review this. Again, this is my second favorite Godzilla, you know, figure of, you know, figure of Godzilla, I should say. Um, just to be honest with you, I love it that much. Uh, and of course my, uh, you know, my favorite Godzilla design, so this was one I was really, really anticipating on doing. I know I, um, went off on a bit of a tangent talking about just this particular Godzilla, but again, my favorite one, the cream of the crop for me when I think of Godzilla, and, uh, so, I, you know, so I just kind of wanted to spend some time just discussing it, you know, and of course, to uh, my two favorite Heisei Godzilla films that, that this design was featured in, my favorite, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, and then next, uh, Godzilla vs. Biollante, you know, from the Heisei era. Um, so, uh, so <laughs> it just falls in line that this is my favorite Godzilla design. So, uh, again, though, you know, I was really, really happy to be able to do this. I think that does about cover it for the figure. I know you can find them. Like I said, I got this one at a convention, but I know you can find these online. They're not too pricey. They're fairly common. Um, so if you did want to try to look on eBay, et cetera, et cetera, you should be able to pick one of these up. Uh, and I definitely recommend it for, uh, you know, for anyone who's collecting. Uh, but that's about it, folks. That does pretty much take us to the end of the video. I do thank you so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe, please feel free to do so. If you would like to like and or comment on any of my videos, please feel free to do so as well. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, you be good to yourselves, and sayonara.